Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living and a retirement worth having. The challenge we have is when other people in society who have jobs to do certain things think that they have the right to overstep the boundaries of permission to do things to people that are total strangers. It's a lie that they tell themselves. An absolute blatant lie and a total violation of rights. The violation of rights is something that the current American government is very concerned about. It's definitely something that the Biden-Harris administration is talking about. And what we have to understand is that they are saying, look, everyone in America has rights. Everyone in America has a right to safety. Everyone in America has a right to propriety. Everyone in America has a right to privacy. Everyone in America has a right to medical concerns. And openly, they haven't quite gotten there yet, but medical privacy is going to be coming back around very soon. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth of our life, but it is our truth for our life that matters to us. It might be your truth about our life that matters to you, but you know what? If you're not technically allowed and enabled and, and welcomed into our life, then you're, that's on you. You made a choice. You made a choice to abuse. You made a choice to harangue. You made a choice to insult. You made a choice to opinion. You made a choice to harm someone's life. That is, if you actually had a relationship in the first place. If you really had no relationship and you're trying to stuff yourself into someone's life, that's another thing entirely. It's more of a stalking. It's more of a mobbing. It's more of an unusual thing. But in life, we have to be honest about what we are doing. And if you had a really tight, close relationship with someone, and then you decided to just walk away and say, tap to the hand, it's your immaturity that's showing. 